That's my yard stash trike cover after a 200 mile drive. <laughs> well, actually what it is, see, it, it became not only a cover, but it, it has this nice vent now <laughs> to allow fresh air in and out. God dang, what luck. But anyway, no, that thing didn't work. No, it's all, the wind beat it to death. I mean, I had it strapped all over and around, but the wind beat it to death. It's just got, it's got all kind of little tears along here. I mean, it's just, <clears throat> it came apart. But it lasted for about six or eight months, so I guess I shouldn't complain. But I've got a better tarp on order and uh, cover it and then strap it down better. And I've also got some better tie downs coming for that. But yeah, the, the yard stash, uh, I think it's what it's called. It's a yard stash double XL cover. It'll work if you don't if you don't have a lot have it in an area where there's a lot of wind. That's all I can say about that. And I've also got some more tie downs coming and stuff. More clamps for this. Going to get the uh, uh, Max Air vent fan installed this afternoon. And uh, yeah, life is good. And what else have I done? Let me show you. Just little things, just tweaking it, you know what I mean? It's cold here this morning. That's what I got, a 22E bar. That's from Mobile Home Specialist in Alvarado, Texas. This is a Class C motorhome. And uh, yeah, that's where you do the propane right here. And that's a TV that I'll never use. Got a sound bar too. But I'll show you this, if I can do it with one hand, which I may or may not be able to. But yeah, this was where I was gonna put the trike if I can get it open with one hand because it's a big huge door huge storage spot and a lot of people say well why don't you put it in there well I could but <laughs> oops <laughs> yeah that box on the left is the max air vent fan it'll come out but I got me a 50 foot hose why because I got me a washing thing to so I can wash my RV and uh, yeah so you once you get all your stuff in here you know, that big spot becomes a uh, full but all that stuff that that's a that little cobalt that's a air pump there's my toolbox and there's my extension card and some tie downs that's my rocking chair and what else have I got I got some paper towels uh, that's a that gray thing there is a rubber made footstool that's a one drain hose I carry an extension that I get uh, it's a 15 footer and on the right hand side in that white bag is uh, some one gallon water jugs for hauling water for the fresh water tank when I'm boondocking. That blue thing is a folding table. But anyway, yeah, so I've got, it, it's amazing, man. You start putting your stuff in places and it fills up pretty quick. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna leave that unlocked because I gotta get that vent fan out in a little bit. And there's the uh, wheel chocks that I bought. And they work okay, I'm not real tickled with them. Uh, they're, they're just what they are. You know, you, you buy things that are inexpensive and there they are what they are so what else can i show you the frost on number 16 green yeah, it's cool out here it's more about 30 32 degrees no wind though it's fixing to be high it'll be 70 for a high today but yeah we're going to go on a trip next week uh monday we're going to head south where uh i've got three uh destinations in mind uh, I'll end up in Roma, Texas at, uh, I think it's Lake, is it Lake Zapata? I think it is. I always get, I never can remember the name of that lake. But anyway, I'm just walking around this morning, guys, peddling, waiting for it to warm up so I can go walking. Got a little frost on my windshield this morning. And somebody said, well, you can use a credit card to get that off. Okay, and it works. I did, I used it. I used a credit card and it worked. But yeah, this is where I, this is where I live right now, guys, so... This is home, close to the dumpster. <laughs> like my spot at Mama Bear's RV Park in, the, in uh, Capitan, New Mexico, site number 14. <laughs> it's got a nice view of the dumpster. I'm always feeling home. And that's Lano River, and we just kind of twirl around here. But yeah, getting things done. Polishing the diamond, got it pretty good, pretty well set up. Uh, got some clamps coming, tie downs coming, got a new tarp coming. Uh, this week, so I'll get all that done and then we'll go on the road again. And I've also got a tire monitoring system coming uh, that uh, solar powered thing and hopefully I can do it myself if I can get to the 
all the little valves. There's a valve stem there. I think I can get to all of them to put those little caps on because that's all you got to do. Once you get those little caps on, then it does okay. I can see right now I got a problem. I can see see how this hub cap's not lined up right. When that got discount tire, check the air in the tire. See how you put this on here? You can't get to any of the valve stems. <laughs> Thank you, kid. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's okay. I can pop it off her. Not a big deal. <laughs> Always something in it. And also, I have a, a short, uh, like a 10 or 12 foot hose in here for using at uh, dump stations. And I still haven't got my license tags. I got to call them. In fact, as soon as I finish this video, I'll do that. I'm just thinking out loud, guys. Yeah, we're going to redo this. That's with plastic tape. And I'm, I've got some metal clamps coming today or tomorrow. Get that done. And then let's see if I can get to these here. Oh, man. See that right there? So what I'll have to do, I'll have to take the hubcaps off. You can't get to that thing right there. Mm -mm, I can't. Not with my shaky little hand. So what I'll do, I'll have to take the hubcaps off to get the... Uh... Yeah, that's just that, that thing right there. That's just a hubcap. Yeah, same way in the front. All show and no go. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, at the ungated community called an RV park. This is Rusty78609. Just giving you a general walk around of my motor home and some of the things I've done. Look at that monster and then my little old thing. I could park my motor home inside his fifth wheel. But, yeah, it's nice. I like it so far. We're doing okay. And once I get it... Well, you know, once I get it set up, then I'll probably do something else. <laughs> anyway, guys, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you choose to in the description of all my videos. Just click on the link and go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. Why? Doesn't cost you a penny. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, enjoy your life the best you can. And uh, when it's cold outside, get inside. <laughs> adios.